In the shadows of World War II, Japan's Unit 731 conducted unimaginable experiments on prisoners, including vivisections without anesthesia and plague dispersal tests. Victims, called logs, were stripped of humanity to justify cruelty. This facility epitomized how scientific ambition, unchecked by ethics, becomes monstrous. The U.S. later granted immunity to researchers for data, prioritizing knowledge over justice. For 40 years, the U.S. government denied treatment to black men with syphilis in the Tuskegee study, even after penicillin became available. Posing as free health care, researchers documented the disease's progression while lying to participants. This betrayal exposed how systemic racism corrupted medicine, leaving generations distrustful of institutions. The study only ended after a whistleblower leaked its horrors to the press. During the Cold War, the CIA launched MKUltra, a covert program testing LSD, electroshock, and hypnosis on unwitting citizens, including mental patients and prisoners. Files show agents sought to erase memories or create programmable assassins. Most records were destroyed, leaving victims without answers. MKUltra proved governments would weaponize psychology, crossing every ethical line in the name of national security. At Dachau, Nazi doctors like Sigmund Rascher submerged prisoners in freezing water to simulate battlefield conditions, meticulously recording their agonizing deaths. These experiments, framed as research, were thinly veiled torture driven by eugenics. The data was later used by space programs, raising haunting questions. Can useful science ever justify such evil? The victims, deemed subhuman, were erased from their own stories. In 1946, U.S. researchers deliberately infected Guatemalan prisoners, soldiers, and mental patients with STDs without consent, testing penicillin's limits. Like Tuskegee, it targeted marginalized groups and was hidden for decades. When uncovered in 2010, it proved ethical violations persist when power imbalances exist. This case closes the loop, showing how science's darkest chapters repeat when humanity is secondary to discovery.